Hey, so today we're going to be doing unit conversion. And um, when you do unit conversion, all you have to do is set up a proportion. So we're going to just practice a couple of simple ones. We're going to change 13 yards to feet. So I know for every one yard, and I'm going to label that, one yard is three feet. So if I have... 13 yards, I can figure out how much feet it is. I just have to cross multiply. So you do 13 times 3, which is 39, 1 times x, which is x. So it'd be 39 feet. Okay, so then I'm going to change feet to inches. I know for every 1 foot, it is 12 inches. So 4.5 feet will go on top over x inches. So you have to do is 4.5 time 12, which is 54. So it'd be 54 inches. And then two miles, we'll change two miles to yards. For every one mile, it is 1,760 uh, yards. So then two miles will go on top over X. So you have to do is 1,000, uh, 1,760 times 2, cross multiply, which is 3,520, and then 1 times x is just x. So now they're not always going to be this easy. Some of them you will have to divide, but some of them will be just this easy. Hey, right. now you try one. Change 54 feet to yards. So I know for every one yard, it is um, three feet. So I'm trying to change it to yards, so it'd be 54. So x times three is three x, one times 54 is 54. So you divide by three. 54 goes in there 18 times. Well, three goes into 54 18 times. Hey, Michael is running back for the so soft, uh, school football team. On his last run, he gained six yards. How many inches did Michael gain on his last run? Okay, so he got... Sorry, guys. Six yards. Mr. Page, if you're in the building, could you come to my office, please? Mr. Page, if you're um, in the building, could you come to my office, please? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So he gained six yards. He wants to figure out how many inches that is. Well, for every one yard, that's 36 inches. So there's six yards over X. So you do six times 36. So 36 times six is 216. So he gained 216 inches. It doesn't seem as impressive when you put it in the inches. All right, number 12. Hannah rode um, 4,400 yards on her morning bike ride. The next day she rode 5,280. How many total miles did she ride? So first thing you do is 4,400 plus 5,280. So you have 9,680 yards and trying to change that to miles. Well, for every one mile is 1,760 is equal to X, because that's what you're going to find, miles, over 9,680 yards. So you cross multiply, you get 1,760X is equal to 9,680. So we're going to have to divide 9,680 by 1,600, excuse me, 1,760, which is 5.5. So she wrote 5.5 miles. Okay, let's try some fluids. So we're going to change 160 ounces to pounds. So for every one pound, for every one pound, it is 16 ounces. Um, so I'm changing 160 ounces to pounds. So you have 16x equals 160. So you divide 16 to both sides. X equals 10. So it'll be 10 pounds. All right, um, that's all I'm going to do. 
this is the same idea as we've been doing. Best thing to do is look up the unit conversion, which we do give to you, and then just set up a proportion. If you need help setting that proportion up, best thing to do is do it, and then ask us to see if it's correct before you do the work. Because nine out of 10 times when you usually set it up, it's correct already. Thanks, guys.